going on, guys? Cred Frog here with yet another Choo Choo Challenge run for all of you guys to enjoy. I want to thank you all for subscribing, all your wonderful comments, and all you guys suggesting new challenges for me. Now, today we have a really interesting one that's an experiment, and I really hope it goes the way that I am planning it to. So, essentially, guys, we are going to be playing the game. And I'm not going to be able to use the train. Charles, but I'm, you know, in a positive note, Charles will not exist in the game because I won't activate him because my theory is and my thought, you know, I'm a video game scientist here. And if it goes right, it would be something like this. There's a boundary right here. Okay. And this is the tutorial area. This is where it doesn't want you to go. Now, when you and Eugene pass through the tracks and you go through this boundary, Charles comes out, and that's what prompts the whole game mechanics, you know, to start and Charles to warp around and chase you and all that. If I delete this boundary with the command prompt, command console, whatever the hell you want to call it, I'm going to destroy this boundary so now I can walk through it. Now, I am going to, I think the train, if I bring the train through it, I believe that Charles will still spawn. So let's experiment with that part first. So let me get up here and get the key. Key acquired. All right, let's go through all the tutorial stuff. Just talk well, to Eugene. Now, I know that Charles is still going to spawn. So if he does... I'm just going to go back to where he did not, and, and we're going to continue the uh, experiment slash video there. But hold on. I'll wait until after this hectic stuff happens to uh, let you guys know. Hold on. Yep. Of course, it just spawns right out of nowhere. Basically, guys, the idea is I can keep Eugene alive if I don't use the train the whole time and don't activate Charles. So... I think I might need to delete this boundary again since we loaded the game. Let's just let's just check it out to be sure. Yes, okay, I do. Let's destroy the boundary, go through it. And what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to play the game like normal. Only Charles won't exist, but the occult guys will. Now, the only thing that kind of sucks eggs through a straw is that I need to run everywhere. We're just going to play it like normal. And, you know, I'm not going to subject you guys to sitting here and watching me run the whole time. So... We're just going to make a bunch of cuts in the video, but rest assured, I'm playing the game like normal. Just without Charles being there, okay? Let's go! Some scrap. Never hurt nothing. So we need to run up here to talk to this guy and get some scraps. Let's go. Hey there, Lumberback Bill. You must be here. You know I'm that. here for the scraps. Where are you keeping them nowadays? Oh, in the poo-poo barn. This is that barn we used to come to when we was kids. We'd take big poops in, this, in the corners. Five, six, seven. Hell yeah, baby. Let's take some stock. We got 17 scraps. Let's head over to this lady. And again, guys, I have no train. I am not warping using the consoles because you can teleport, but it's it takes me like three tries each time to teleport or like sometimes four. And honestly, I would spend the same amount of time trying to teleport that I probably would running to these places. So we're going to just run to all the things and just play the game as normal. Whoa, that's a nice shotgun you got there. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. <gasps> it's freaking metal money is what it is. Scraps is the entire economy in this game. All right, on to these three. Oh my God, thank God. I need some scraps. I can never have enough scraps. <laughs> These damn puzzles always get the best of me. All right, back to this son of a beautiful 60 scraps already. <laughs> okay, so Helen gives us our first location for an egg mine. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to go get the um, bug spray from Grandpa Bungleman. And absolutely. Okay, so we got to think about this, guys. We're going through this whole game without Charles being on the map, which is a huge load off the brain. Um, and without having to f fool around with the train as well. So it's honestly like a lot more relaxing. Way better to have to reverse, go forward, change direction, worry about Charles. 
Okay? Like, it's, it's, it's amazing. But, you know, coming time for the final battle, you know, it's going to warp us to our train when we're at that final battle. And the train's not going to be upgraded. Okay? I'll probably collect some of the weapons for the train. You know, like bug spray and maybe bob and stuff like that. But our train will not be upgraded. So it's going to be like level one everything. Oh, thank goodness. It's another scrap box. I love these. Okay, guys. First egg hype. Let's get it done, baby. All right. Into the dungeon we go, fellas. This dungeon is nice and easy. It's like the training wheels on the bike. You don't need to risk any danger yet, but later on, oh, there's going to be danger. This first guy goes in a clockwise pattern, which is very predictable and easy to uh, outmaneuver. Then later on, the expert in stealth men. Hey. Oh, oh my God, that scared the crunch out of me. Okay, right that's fine. We can be shot as many times as we want. It's like a BB gun, you know? It's, it, it ain't going to do nothing. Oh, you know, I just forgot that we don't even have a train. So we can't escape him or gun him down. He's going to be following us the rest of this f playthrough. Dude. Oh, that's going to be so funny, but so stupid. Who knows? Maybe eventually we'll die from him. But we're just going to keep on a running. And hopefully he stops pursuing us eventually. All right, he's not there. So we're going to just count ourselves lucky that he's not behind me still. All right, we'll run up to pick a lady. This is... Insane not having to worry about Charles running around man cuz um, If you guys didn't see my challenge run where I didn't use the train until the hell Charles battle It was <laughs> such a big deal that he, he was kept killing me and stuff. I don't know man. This is so fun though Even if it is taking me 7,000 years to get everywhere. We'll get there eventually. I know we will <laughs> Any day now We're gonna get to that cave. Oh, I can smell the pickles Marinating in that jar. Hello! I've arrived in the pickle cave! The acoustics are to die for! A six beautifully fermented pickles. Alright, 110, that's, I think that's more than enough. Let us, what is our next objective? We gotta talk with this person to get another uh, egg mine open up there. And his name is... Enus the penis, or at least that's what I call him. Now, something a little uh, technical, I suppose. I am curious if during this Hell Charles battle, if Eugene will still be in our train. Because um, I don't know if I needed to actually, like, move the train at least an inch to get Eugene into, like, he's riding on the train mode. I don't know how to describe it. Like, he was standing on the train waiting for us to talk to him and to start the train. But if we never spoke to him and activated him on the train, I'm hoping he'll still be on it, is what I'm saying during the Hell Charles battle. I feel as though I'm a god on this godforsaken rock. I am here. I am all-powerful. No train is here to stop me. It's intoxicating. Oh, sexual scraps. I love them so. Oh, man, we're really getting into the voices this time around, but that is our calling card. Guys, I've turned off um, foliage, and it looks like painted camouflage. It's so funny, dude. It just it looks like somebody, like, face paint camouflage on the ground. Time to talk to my friend Enos the Penis. He couldn't bother to put a shirt on for the uh, <laughs> evil train island you know all right egg mine up north we're not going to talk to lady up there we have enough scraps to heal the train at the end battle we're just going straight for objectives now and you know i can never resist some scraps ah they smell beautiful i walked a lonely road not even an evil train to keep me company i had to keep my mind sharp i couldn't lose my edge i was a man alone solitary but it was oddly comforting. Something that confused me, but I also felt at peace at the same time. I kept pressing on to get this uh, uh, second egg out of the motherfucking dungeon. I came to a fork in the road. Which way was the right way to go? I know there was a right way, but what about the left way? It was illuminated. 
alluring me in, telling me this is the right way to go, but I said, hell no. The right way is the right way to go. You see, sometimes the way to go is dimly lit, but it is still the right way to go if the trust your instincts. Plus, I can smell eggs cooking in this cave, so help. We're having omelets for dinner tonight. Give me that sweet, sweet omelet. Oh my god, he found us. Alright, well, he's just gonna have to follow us through the whole frickin' dungeon. I don't care. I don't care if there's three of these dudes on our back. We're gonna run through this frickin' labyrinth. Oh, poop strips! Oh my god, I'm dodging bullets like raindrops. We gotta hang it right. We're gonna have three dudes on us by the time we're done with this. Oh my god, man. This is hilarious. If we can't lose them, they're gonna be following me until they kill me or... Or otherwise. Look at this! What the... What the... Dude, I have never had that happen where that dude is... Oh, he's the guy that's from out here. That's why. Okay. That makes sense. That was... Uh, un I, okay. At least we got the second egg, guys. And we didn't die. Dude, I love how the... Um, occult dudes in this sound like they're mafioso guys from New York. Beat it, chump! I'm gonna shoot you! Hey, where is he? I think I heard something. Like... Wouldn't it make more sense for them to be like, A non-believer. Kill him. Char his bones. Like, and they just, like, see you and stop and, like, say really demonic weird stuff. You know what? It reminds me of the game Manhunt. If any of you have ever seen the- played the game Manhunt. Whoa, there's one of them down there. It's a Rockstar game. Came out in, uh, 03. And a lot of the thugs in it have, like, really funny voices, like, comical mafia voices. But then they look really menacing, like they're covered in blood and they have weird masks and stuff. Placing the eight bombs for Pauly to blow this place sky high. All right, Paul, I did your dirty work. All right, it gives us the key to the final temple, as always. Now we have one more egg mine to go to after we talk to... Hey! Gale! What do you got, another egg mine for us? Check it out. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Last egg. And then it's time to fight Charles with no upgrades. And we're hoping like hell that Eugene is still sit standing next to the blueprint map. Okay, stealth can go to hell. We're just going to run around like a madman. Oh, my God. That'd be so funny if we if we um, could sprint through this and not be seen. Up. <laughs> I was gonna say, sprint through it and not be seen. It's never possible, man. This game is impossible to stealth. I'm gonna grab the egg, hang a lefty. I already paid my protection money. Get off of me. Now, guys, we're gonna hope and pray right now that upon this Hell Charles battle, you know, upon the start of it, Eugene is still in the cockpit of the train. If he is not, well... He's still with us in spirit, and he's still alive, technically, because he never got killed by Charles. You know, if he's not there, it basically just means that we didn't... Who's that? I guess we didn't advance his character so that he's in the front of the train. But here we go. Hell Charles battle activated. There he is. Oops, I accidentally just upgraded speed. Whatever. Whatever. That's fine. Oh! What?! Wait, what? What? Wait a minute. What the absolute... Yo. Wait a minute, he's still okay! Eugene's still alive! Alright, man, I'll take it. Dude. He's still alive. And Char... And wait. Okay, and, and Hell Charles is active. Okay, hold on, we gotta heal. I upgraded my speed, but that's okay. I'm gonna do that too. Now we're gonna... Okay, we're good, we're good. This is, this is, it's okay to upgrade during this run. Let's do a little, uh, uh, bug spray. So wait a minute. This is really weird. Eugene is still alive. Alright. So that... I'm gonna count that as a... As him still being alive, since he's still here with us. Alright. Alright, guys. Eugene is still alive. Ow! Oh my god, okay. I didn't even realize I need to he heal. See, this is always a safe bet to keep Charles off our back. So we're gonna call that Eugene that died the imposter Eugene. Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can talk to Eugene. Nope. 
Ooh, that was sick. All right, cool. Load the boomer. Oh, I missed. I always wonder if this uh, kills us when we uh, hit him so close up with this. Bug spray's back on. All right, bug spray, keeping him at bay. And realistically, we can use whatever the hell gun we want right to right now. Let's go back to let's go back to Boomer. Boomer. Ah! Oh, what just? Oh, that was an accident. So, guys, I died by accidentally getting jumping out of the train somehow, and our boy Eugene was uh, gone. So. In the spirit of Eugene, we are going to kick the living shit out of Hell Charles. You're going to hell times two, Hell Charles. I'm going to send you there multiple times, you piece of human waste. I'm your dentist, and I'm knocking out your teeth one at a time, you piece of crap. Here we go, baby. This is the final battle. Boom. Wow, he's warping way far away. He's going to keep using this thing. We have enough to he health to heal. One more should about just about do the trick. And guys, did we answer the question? Can we keep Eugene alive? Let's let's take a moment of silence for our boy Eugene. He died, but not in vain. But he would have been alive. If we wouldn't have died during this fight by accident. Because I I treat that like he was still alive. And that that was his imposter Eugene there before. Guys, this was a great experiment. I'm glad I tried it out. And, um, you know, again, if we hadn't died, Eugene would have lived on. So, pretty cool that we could have kept him alive the whole game. And also didn't have Charles antagonist, t t antagonizing us the whole game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Guys, stick around for much more videos, and we will see you for the next one.